Earlier today, I gave you this patient and asked you if you can shock this PEA arrest. Let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about PEAs from a mechanical standpoint and the physiology of it. So why do we see an electrical activity but no mechanical activity? Well, typically what happens is that we have enough blood that we can fill those coronary arteries in the heart that's allowing it to still contract, which is giving us our electrical phase, but it's not enough blood inside the heart to push and give us a pulse itself basically exactly its name, pulseless electrical activity. Why does that occur? Well, it typically occurs because of a mechanical problem. And one of the biggest reasons is a lack of cardiac output. So just to give you a perspective of this is like, let this is your uh, inferior and superior vena cava is bringing blood back to this right ventricle right here. If I was to remove the majority of that blood that's actually coming back to the heart, then my cardiac output or the amount of blood I'm gonna fill that right ventricle with is going to be diminished. So think of a patient that could this could be involved in, particularly a hemorrhagic shock. Patient would have this type of problem where they actually have a, uh, a lack of flow that's baking it back to this right ventricle, which is ultimately having a significant decrease in cardiac output. So that is why a typical reason that PEAs will occur is that we're having a lack of flow returning to this right ventricle that's ultimately having a massive impact on cardiac output and the push of blood to the rest of the body, thus giving us no pulse. So to expand on that, that's why we don't shock a PEA, simply because this is not an electrical problem that's going on inside the heart. This is all due to a mechanical issue that defibrillation can't correct. There's no electrical issue to correct. And so what we need to do in PEA arrest is correct the problem. If they have a hemorrhagic shock that's put them in a PEA arrest, then we need to fill this tank and get some blood back into the system in order to fix the mechanical issue. So that's really the thing with PEA so that it's less about the electrical problems that we can defibrillate and more about the mechanical problems which we cannot.